So let's try the second example. We are going to use mesh analysis to find I1, I2 and then I3 in the circuits below. Now as usual, the first thing we need to check is if there exists a current source only in one mesh. Now when you look through the circuits, you realize that the answer is no, there do not exist a current source only in one mesh. Now the second thing is to check if we have a current source in between two meshes and the answer is yes, we have a current source 3 amperes in between mesh 2 and then mesh 3. So we are going to create a super mesh by eliminating the current source in series with any other element. However, in this particular circuit, this current source is not in series with any other element. So we simply eliminate the 3 amperes current source. Now let's try to redraw the circuit without the 3 amperes current source. So we still have the mesh current I1, I2, and then I3. Now we are going to apply KVL to mesh 1 and then to the super mesh. So first of all, let's start off with mesh 1. Now according to KVL, we know that the source voltage is equal to the sum of the voltages dropped across the loop. Now we are going to consider this mesh. So we have the source voltage to be 12. That is equal to. Now going in the clockwise direction. So we have current I1 moving in this direction. And then we have current I2 flowing opposite to I1. Therefore we are going to have 2. That is the value of the resistor times I1 minus I2. Now also in this resistor, we have I1 flowing this way and then I3 also flowing that way, which is opposing the flow of I1. Therefore, we are going to have plus 4 into bracket I1 minus I3. Now let's expand and simplify this equation. So we are going to have 12 equals 2I1 minus 2I2 plus 4i1 minus 4i3 so we have 12 equals 2i1 plus 4i1 6i1 negative 2i2 and then negative 4i3 we divide through by 2 we have 6 equals 3i1 minus i2 minus 2i3 Let's call this equation 1. Now let's move on to the super mesh. So for the super mesh, we are going to consider this particular mesh. Now we have the source voltage to be 2V0. Now notice that we are taking the clockwise direction. So the current produced by 2V0 is going to oppose the flow of the direction we are taking. Therefore, this becomes negative. 2v0 and that is equal to we have current i2 flowing in this resistor so we have 8 i2 we have current i3 flowing this way and then i1 also flowing that way so we are going to have plus 4 plus 4 i3 minus i1 and then plus 2 we have current I2 flowing this way, I1 that way. So that becomes plus 2 into bracket I2 minus I1. Now, we need to develop an expression for V0 so that we can eliminate V0 from this equation. Now, you realize that we have V0 to be the voltage across the 2 ohms resistor. And then we know that the current flowing through this 2 ohms resistor is i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 so that's going to be 2 times so we have negative 2 and then v naught becomes so we have v naught to be 2 times i1 minus i2 that is v naught and then we have 2 i1 minus 2 i2 so this is v naught 
now let's plug in v not here so that becomes 2i1 minus 2i2 equals 8i2 plus 4i3 minus 4i1 plus 2i2 minus 2i1 let's simplify further so we expand the left hand side we have negative 4i1 plus 4i2 equals 8i2 so we can add 8 and 2 so that we have 10 i2 and then we have negative 6 i1 and then plus 4 i3 let's transpose everything on the left hand side to the right hand side so we have 0 equals negative 6 i1 and then we transpose negative 4 to the right hand side it becomes plus 4 so negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 i1 and then for i2 we have 10 and then minus 4 that becomes plus 6 i2 and then we are left with plus 4 i3 here also we can divide through by 2 so that we have negative i1 plus 3 i2 plus 2 i3 let's call this equation 2 now back to the original circuit we are going to apply kcl at this node so we have current i2 in this branch and then we have current i3 also in that branch so we know that the sum of currents entering the node is equal to the sum of currents leaving therefore we have i3 which is leaving equals 3 plus i2 we call this equation 3 now we are going to put equation 3 we put equation 3 into equation 1 and equation 2 now by so doing we eliminate i3 from the two equations and then we can solve for i1 and then i2 using the two remaining equations so for equation 1 for equation 1 we have 6 equals 3i1 minus i2 minus 2 into bracket 3 plus i2 so that becomes 6 equals 3i1 minus i2 minus 6 minus 2i2 we have 6 we transpose this here so plus 6 that is 12 equals we have 3 i1 and then negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 i2 we divide through by 3 we have 4 equals i1 minus i2 we can transpose negative i2 to the left hand side so that we have 4 plus i2 equals i1 we call this equation 4 now for equation 2 For equation 2, we have 0 equals negative i1 plus 3i2 plus 2 times 3 plus i2. We are going to have 0 equals negative i1 plus 3i2 plus 6 plus 2i2. We transpose 6 to the left hand side it becomes negative it becomes negative 6 equals then we have negative i1 and then 3 plus 2 is 5 so plus 5 i2 and then we call this equation 5 now the next thing we are going to do is to put equation 4 into equation 5 you are going to put equation 4 into equation 5 so we are going to put equation 4 into equation 5 so for equation 5 
we have negative 6 equals negative i1 plus 5i2 5i2 and then we had 4 plus i2 equals i1 to be equation 4 so that's going to be negative 6 equals negative into bracket 4 plus i2 plus 5i2 so this becomes negative 6 equals negative 4 minus i2 plus 5i2 so we transpose negative 4 to the left hand side it becomes negative 6 plus 4 that is negative 2 equals this becomes 4i2 we divide through by 4 and then we have i2 to be equal to negative 0.5 amperes this is the value for i2 now we are going to put i2 into equation 4 so that we have i1 equals 4 plus negative 0.5 and that will be equal to 3.5 amperes that is for i1 now let's go back to the previous page for equation 3 we have i3 equals 3 plus i2 so with that we can find the value of i3 so for equation 3 we have i3 to be equal to 3 plus i2 that is 3 plus negative 0 0.5 and that will be 2.5 amperes so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye